Hey guys, and welcome back to PXH, also known as Pure X Heart. Chris here, as usual, back again with another album review. And guys, as always, make sure you guys hit down that like button onto this video and comment down below, honestly, of how you guys are doing, you know? Yes, you guys are probably thinking that it's like, huh, well, why didn't Chris say about the album? Well, you know, comment down below about how you guys are doing. You know, hopefully you guys are doing great. Comment down below. Or if you're not doing great, then comment down below. But speaking of those that, uh, uh, you know, want to comment down below about that album, then, you know, maybe comment down below about this album, what you guys thought about this album was. And of course, if you're new here, or a return visitor, and you haven't yet subscribed, then what are you doing? It. That. Subscribe button, alright? Guy's been doing really, really well with pinning that subscribe button, but you know, if you're new or a turning visitor and you're not hitting that subscribe button, then what you doing, man? It's super easy. It's just right there. But anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> Nothing is Ordinary, Everything is Beautiful is the sophomoric album from the pop-centric, kind of synthy, kind of electric, kind of not, kind of, you know, you put a pop album right in there and they will make it whatever, you know, you may want it to be, otherwise known as Apollo LTD. Now, I've actually been listening to Apollo LTD ever since their first signal. It was actually a really interesting thing with Apollo LTD that I either posted something on my story on Instagram or I posted something on Instagram and then all of a sudden I just see Apollo LTD has looked at this. So I was like, hmm, who was that? I saw some of their stuff and with our first signal that came out, I was like, oh, that's actually not that bad. So I kind of been following them ever since on Instagram. Just because, you know, I, you know, it's just like, huh, this is actually not that bad of a band. And, and I actually really do enjoy their first album, Out of the Body, which, you know, is a little bit of more of my style. It has that synth pop type of mix that I really, really do enjoy about a lot of bands that, you know, needs to be done with a lot of Christian music. Uh, we don't get a lot of synth bands, and if we do, they're very not famous as much, or they really heavy rely onto the not good part of the synth. You know, we don't get anything like, you know, electric, and, you know, we don't get anything fun, uh, say, of famous bands that are out right now with uh, the 1975, or even my favorite, Chaverches or Churches. Uh, yes, it's a favorite secular band of mine. There's that. But we don't really get much synth band type of music, so I, that's what I really, really do enjoy about their first album a little bit more than this album, because this album feels more of that Christian pop vibe, which is not a bad thing entirely. I do like the little, little, little bit of the more focus on the, the Christian aspect. Uh, even though that, you know, whenever making a good album that for making a Christian album, sure, you know, that's that's what you want to really heavy rely on to is especially that uh, Christian element of, you know, that worship type of elements of, you know, praising Jesus's name or, you know, uplifting in a sense you know trying to look on maybe the brighter side of things which i'm always hesitant on because you know you can have uplifting stuff and you know it doesn't have to be solely positive or you know solely whatever you know you can have like you know joy even in the dark tribulations of of life but for this album, this this really hot, heavy relies on to that uplifting, encouraging type of music is okay if you guys like that. But if you guys are just wanting maybe like a little bit something more, a little bit deeper, then 
probably won't get that with this album. This is a really, really heavily Christian pop band. Every review that I've seen is just like, this is a really, really great pop album, which is not a bad thing entirely. You know, sometimes, you know, it's just like, man, I just want to listen to pop music. It's just like, that's fine. Like, you know, pop music is really good here and there. It's it's all about the melodies with a lot of this this music. That's why I actually really do enjoy the first one, because it didn't really heavy rely onto that pop area and the, that melody. Like, you know, you could see their influences with a little more of the secular bands, uh, which actually a lot of Christian review sites, like they basically kind of put that down on where it's just like, well, is it really a Christian album or is it like more of a secular album? Which again, that is fine. You know, it's always that bur blurred line of what is a Christian album and what is not a Christian album. This one does feel a little bit, again, more like the the Christian pop album, for example, songs like, because I'm actually finally getting to the songs, or songs like Sunday Morning Feeling, which features Ryan, Ryan Stevenson, uh, Good Day, which features Social Club Misfits, songs like Patient, songs like You, songs like Soldier On, songs like Tears Into Diamonds, really, really hammer on this fact, and even really a little bit of the emotional side of Heart Beliefs, uh, Heavy relies on the Christian aspect for this album, which again is not a very bad thing for a Christian Bob album. And this album, however, is also a little bit slower than their debut album. So there's that. I'm just like, we don't need any more slow Christian songs and a lot of, and sometimes even their upbeat songs, maybe like this mid-tempo, where it's like, it could be upbeat, but it also could be not upbeat. Beat. So there's that. It's more like this mid-tempo vibe, which is really interesting. Not gonna lie, I actually kind of like that, where it could be like, ooh, this is upbeat, but it's not upbeat, but it's upbeat at the same time, which is fine, you know, it's, it's fun. There's actually also some influences that I can tell with, so like, say, you're for King and Country with uh, songs like Soldier On, which almost sounds like a for King and Country song, uh, which is kind of fun. I like it whenever artists do, even if it's intentional or not intentional, you know, they they kind of sound like some uh, artists because, you know, there's only so much melody that you can really, really do, especially for a pop album. You know, there's only so much that you can do before everything starts a little bit sounding the same, uh, especially if you're doing a little bit more of this uh, techno uh, electronic stuff, unless you're doing like something like really, really crazy, which they don't really do which again, it's fine. It's a, just a very fine album. So honestly, maybe you guys should, you know, check out this album, you know, get this album. Again, this is not a very, very bad album. It's a very, really, really nice album. I think the lyrics are what drives home this album, even for it being a pop album, because it, again, it's a good, really great pop album. There's not a lot of stuff that is cringeworthy. There's stuff that, you know, is encouraging for you, but isn't like bad encouraging, it isn't like waha. You know, it's nice, you know, to have some encouraging music here and there, uh, especially for this day and age that we live in, which again is this today's world, which either it could be like yesterday's world or, you know, tomorrow's world. It'd still be all the same, okay? Nothing has changed that. Just wish it was a little bit more upbeat. And, you know, they, they went to a little bit more of the synth pop-esque. Again, that's still my own personal flavor. So I kind of like that they did change it up a little bit. So there's that. But of course, if you guys would, leave a like onto this video and also comment down below what you guys thought about this album. Also, don't forget to comment down below of how you guys are doing. Uh, whether it be good, bad, or whatever, you know, comment down below. And speaking of different options that you can do, comment down below also what you guys want me to review, whether it be in the future, past, present, you guys name it, put it down in those comments and I will get to it. And uh, speaking of more options, it can be music, movies, topics, you guys name it, and I will get to it. And of course, if you're new here or a return user and you haven't even subscribed yet, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. It's probably a long enough video for you guys to hit that subscribe button. Make you guys leave and be like, uh, no, I don't want to listen to that guy anymore. Be like, okay, well, 
cool, 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 cool. But for those that did stay, remember to go on with Jesus and change the culture. Boom. Bye.